topic is automatic migration, which is guessing using power of 10. Last time, the assignment one, we did sig fig. Now we are doing uh, order of magnitude. Sig fig is as precise as you can. You keep collecting the numbers until you get the last reliable numbers in a lab measurement. But order of magnitude is just guessing using power of 10. All right, so this is measurement. And this is uh, scientific notation and this is order of magnitude okay uh, so 4000 scientific notation 4 times 10 raised to 3 okay so what is scientific notation scientific notation is n is equal to a times 10 raised to n a is between 1 and 10 okay and b is a whole number n is a whole number and is g okay so scientific notation 4 times 10 raised to 3. So let's say 2,000, 2 times 10 raised to 3, uh, 9,000, uh, 9 times 10 raised to 3, uh, 0 0.0002, which is 2 times 10 raised to negative 4, and 0 0.0009, which is 9 times 10 raised to negative 4. So power of 10, in this case 3, in this case 3, in this case 3, in this case negative 4, in this case is negative 4. So 3, negative 4, and negative 4. So this one is wrong, this one is wrong, and this one is wrong. So how do we know when to round? So let's learn the rounding rules for order of magnitude, and then we're going to fix that. Um, 2, 4, 6, 8. Then this is an example of a linear, uh, or you can say additive. So linear. Or additive. If I ask you to write an equation for this, you can of course write an equation y is equal to mx plus b or y is equal to 2x. And 2x is gonna work. You can even test it. So you write x and y. So 1 give you 2 check. 2 give you 4 check. 3 give you 6, check. 4 give you 8, check. All right, so y is equal to 2x and that, that does work. Now, let's see whether this one, 2, if I give you 4, if I give you 8, 16, 32. This is an example of not additive, not linear, but geometric. Okay, or you can call multiplicative. Or you can call geometric multiplicative, or of course, you can call it uh, exponential. So, now if I ask you to write an equation, so you can write y is equal to uh, 2x, right? Okay, let's see whether this works. y is equal to 2x works. So, this is x, this is y. If y x is 1, y is 2. That works. Check. If x is 2, y is 4. That check. If x is 3, y is 8. That also check. If x is 4, y is 16. That check. So it does work. To 0. This is 10 raised to 1. This is 10 raised to 2. 10 raised to 3. 10 raised to 4. This is an example of what? Is it additive? Is it linear? No. It's not additive, not linear. This is exponential or geometric or multiplicative. So that means this is y is equal to bx. All right, or y is equal to 10 raised to x. Okay, now you can write the power. You can separate the power 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. You can separate the power. You can call it power. All right. All right, now if this is exponential, What is the inverse of exponential? Inverse of the inverse of exponential would be what? So you can say log of course base 10, 1. Log base 1 uh, of 1 is 0, of course. Log base 10 of 10 is 1. 
log base 100, log base 10 of 100 is 2. Log base 10 of 1000 is 3. Log base 10 of 10,000, this is 4. So what do you discover? You discover that this is exponential and the inverse exponential is logarithm. So you can say this is linear or additive. So, okay, so what good is it? What good it can serve? Okay, the good it can serve is before we do that, we're going to see how we can use that to derive the rounding, uh, uh, the rounding rule for, of course, uh, uh, order of magnitude. So now, if I give you a number, number line, so this is a number line, right? This is called zero, and this is one, this is two, right? Uh, then, uh, if I ask you what would be the a, a, a and B, what is the, the arithmetic mean? What is the mean of uh, the first two consecutive numbers? The mean of first two consecutive number would be arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean, which is a plus b over two, which is zero plus one over two. If I ask you to find the mean over here, all right. So these two consecutive number, then how can you find the mean? Well, this is ten raised to n, and is this ten raised to n? No, this is ten raised to n plus one. This is the geometric mean, and the geometric mean. Geometric mean is what? A times B. So A is 10 raised to N and B is 10 raised to N plus 1. So 10 raised to N plus N plus 1. So 10 raised to 2 N plus 1. So 10 raised to this is 2. So 10 raised to 2 N over 2 plus 1 over 2. So 10 raised to N and the 10 raised to half. So 10 raised to N and is square root of 10. So 10 raised to N 3.16. Now the rounding rule is pretty subtle. Rounding rule is if um, a is what is a? If a a is less than three point one six, then n plus zero. If a is greater than three point one six, then n are less than n plus one. N plus zero, N plus one. So the rounding rule, we're gonna write them over here. If if A is less than three point one six, then N plus zero. If A is greater than three point one six, then N plus one. Now we know how to solve them. Okay, so let's solve them. So this one would be would be what? This one would be what? So this is 4. So 4 is greater than 3.16. So then n plus 1. So this is 4. 2 is less than 3.16. So 3 plus 0. This is 3. Now 9, of course, is greater than 3.16. So you have 3 plus 1. This is 4. Now 2 is less than 3.16 so negative 4 plus 0 and 9 of course is greater than 3.16 so you have negative 4 plus 1 which is 3 this is negative 4 okay uh, so you have the, the the final answer is the order of magnitude of this one is uh, I'm going to write it over here order of magnitude for this one is 3 order of magnitude for this one is, um, order of magnitude for this one is 4 Order of magnitude for this one is 3. Order of magnitude for this one is 4. Order of magnitude for this one is 94. Order of magnitude for this one is 3, of course. Now, you can, of course, do this thing using something called log. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to prove that. Uh, you can say log of 4,000 is whatever you get from calculator, you round it to whole number, which is, uh, of course, uh, 4. Uh, and then log of 2,000 
uh, the calculator, whatever calculator gives you, you rounded it to whole number, which is three. And log of uh, 9,000, the calculator will give you a number and you're gonna round it to four. And uh, log of 0 0.0002, of course, you're gonna round it to whole number and that turned out to be exactly the same. And of course, you're gonna round it to whole number and that, of course, is gonna be uh, rounded out to uh, three. Okay. Now let's prove that, why this is true. Now, you go, you say log of 3.16 is 0.5. Why is that? Okay, you see that the mean of geometric uh, log, logarithm mean of geometric Logarithm uh, mean of geometric is equal to logarithm mean of arithmetic. What does that mean? Log, right? AB, logarithm mean of geometric is equal to logarithm mean of arithmetic. What does that mean? Log base 10 of 1 plus log base 10, um, 10 over 2. So log of this one is the square root of 10, right? Uh, A and B is 10, okay? So, yeah. Yeah, log base 10 is equal to, this is 0, plus 1 over 2. So log 3.16, is equal to 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.5 so if you have a now how we're going to draw that how are you going to draw that so 3.16 and this is 1 and this is 10 and then you have 0 0.5 and this is 0 and this is 1 so 0 0.5 is exactly in the middle of 0 and 1 and 3.16 exactly in the middle of 1 and 10 of course this is not linear spacing this is law uh, the domic spacing. This is linear spacing. So linear spacing is good for a type of problem and logarithmic spacing is good for a different type of problem. It means it's true that if you ever get A is, right, A is uh, exactly equal to uh, the square root of 10, uh, which is, um, yeah, whatever it is, then you can round up because 0.5, when you get exactly 0.5, you round up. Okay, so day zero, one people get sick. Day one, uh, two people get sick. Day two, four people get sick. Day 10, 10,024 people get sick. Day 20, uh, one million people get sick. So this is uh, loosely uh, uh, 2 raised to 20, yeah. So this is loosely 2 raised to x. Now how can we uh, show that? So this is linear spacing. This is linear spacing. So we're going to do linear spacing and logarithmic spacing. So now we're going to go, uh, this is 2.5, this is 5, this is 7.5, uh, and this is 10. This is 10, uh, uh, 12.5, this is 15, this is 17.5, and this is 20. So this one is linear spacing. So this is 0.2, this is 0.4, this is 0.6, this is 0.8, this is 1, this is there is a break, and then this is 10 raised to 6. This is sick people, and this is dead. On the other hand, this is logarithmic, this is 10 raised to 1. This is 10 raised to 2, this is 10 raised to 3, this is 10 raised to 4, this is 10 raised to 5, and this is 10 raised to 6. Again, sick, and this is um, same thing, 2.5, and then this is 5, this is 7.5, this is 10, this is 12.5, and this is 15, this is 17.5, and this is 20. Okay, the last point is, of course, 10.6, and the last point is 10 raised to 6, right? So this one going to look like, like this. Uh, zero, day, uh, zero day one people. So this one gonna graph gonna look like this. 
Okay. So this favors only this highlights only what's going on uh, beyond ten days. Uh, on the other hand, this one is gonna give you the, the the better result, you know, highlights from what's going on at the early time. Okay, so sometimes this is better, sometimes this is better. Sometimes you have no option but use the logarithm to uh, show what's going on at the early days of the pandemic. Now, order of magnitude of my height is if you take a ruler, then I would be what? 1.7 meters, which is 2 meters. Okay, so I have 1, I have 10, I have 100. So 2 meters and 1 is 1 times 10 is to 0, 10 is 1 times 10 is to 1, and 100 is 1 times 10 is to 2. So 2 meter is very close to 1 meter, then 10 meter or 100 meter. So what is the order of magnitude? Zero. Okay, what is the mass? My mass, which measured in kilogram, is 100 kilogram. Okay, so again, if i talking about my mass, my mass is close to, if it is 100 kilogram, then of course this is exactly order of magnitude is two. If we have earth over here and moon over here, and you want to make a staircase between Earth to moon by what? By a dollar bill. You take out a dollar bill, and a dollar bill um, is not thick, much thick. If you put ten of them, if you're stacking up ten of them, then it's one one millimeter. So ten dollar bill is one millimeter, right? Okay, good. So then millimeter millimeter has to be cancelled uh, over meter times. The distance between arc to moon is 384000 kilometer. Now, one meter is 1,000 millimeter. However, I give you information in kilometer. So you're going to keep going until you get the kilometer. Millimeter cancel, you have kilometer. One kilometer is 1,000 years. And how much kilometer you have? Oh, well, we can take care of that later. Millimeter, millimeter, meter, meter cancel. So you have 10 raised to 7 uh, bills in one kilometer. However, the arc to the moon is not one kilometer, it's more than one kilometer. In fact, we don't care about 384, we're going to round it to 400,000 because this is order of magnitude. So 400,000 then, uh, and 400,000 kilometer, so kilometer, kilometer cancel. So I have 4 times 10 raised to 7, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5 bills. So how many dollars I need? Um, four trillion to all bills. So I need four trillion, but that's not what I ask you to find. I ask you to find order of magnitude, and that is true. Finally, what is the difference of order of magnitude between the speed of sound and the speed of light? That's the final one, and then we're going to end the day. The speed of sound and the speed of light. The order of magnitude difference. The speed of light is, this is the speed of light, C. 3 times 10 is to 8 meter per second. And the speed of sound is 332, which is 3.32 times 10 is to uh, 2 meter per second. So order of magnitude is 3 is less than 3.16. So order of magnitude is 8. 8% eight that. And uh, 3.32 is greater than 3.16. So 2 plus 1. This is 3. So what is the order of magnitude difference between the speed of light and the speed of sound? 8 minus 3, this is 5. All right. All right. So today is Monday, um, September 8, and uh, the homework 2. And I'm going to uh, uh, upload the homework 2 to the Google Classroom. What do you do? You're gonna, you have two options. You can print it out, do it there, and scan it, and upload it. Or you can do it in your notebook. Scan it, and upload it.